Hi, I'm Nandita and welcome to my channel. As someone who's been born and brought up in Bombay, I have a special love for sabudana khichdi. But as many of you might know, sabudana is very poor in nutrients. It doesn't have much protein or fiber or minerals or vitamins. So this is my attempt to make our favorite sabudana khichdi a little bit healthier so we can enjoy it more frequently. And I'm going to be using foxtail millet and the rest of the recipe remains almost the same. So let's see how to make it. I'm heating up a pan and uh, adding some oil. So the oil is hot. I'm going to start by adding some jeera. You can use ghee or coconut oil for a better flavor. I'm using coconut oil today. Now I'm adding some chopped green chilies, some grated ginger, and some curry leaves. Now to the tempering, I'm going to add some boiled and cubed potatoes. For a variation, you can also add uh, boiled and cubed sweet potatoes instead of potatoes. Now let's mix the other ingredients in a bowl. So here we have some cooked foxtail millet. Now just remember that for this recipe, you can cook this on the stove top so that it's not mushy and uh, each grain is separate so you know when to switch off the gas. So just take the required quantity of foxtail millet in the bowl. I'm going to season this with some salt. Then there's roasted cumin powder or jeera powder. Give it a light mix. Here I have some roasted and crushed peanuts. So I'm going to add most of it and reserve a little bit for garnish. Now, traditionally, peanuts are used in sabudana khichdi. It's also a way of enhancing the nutrition of something which is not so nutritious. So, when you add ingredients like uh, peanuts and potatoes, which are wholesome ingredients, it just makes the dish a little bit more healthier. To this, I'm going to add some freshly grated coconut. Addition of healthy fats like coconut to this recipe, it just makes it all the more suitable for diabetics because it prevents the sharp increase of blood sugar after a meal. So peanuts, coconut, coconut oil all contribute towards making this a little bit more suitable for diabetics. And the last ingredient I'm adding is some lime juice to this. Addition of lime juice not just improves the flavor, but the vitamin C in the lime juice also helps better absorption of the iron in the foxtail millet. So let's give this a final mix. Now it's time to add these ingredients to the pan. Give it all a good mix. As you saw, there was hardly any cooking time because the foxtail millet is also cooked and our potatoes are boiled. So it's just a question of mixing everything together and our dish is ready. Let's serve it up. If you like this recipe with foxtail millet, then do check out the recipe for my foxtail millet pulao. You'll find the link on the screen. And now I have a few garnishes here. Some more fresh coconut. The remaining peanut powder. 
and some fresh coriander and now i'm going to have a taste the taste and the texture of this is so much similar to sabudana khichdi but this is just so much healthier i do hope you will try it out at home if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss any of my videos